Here is your question. Spell red. Red. L S T E R. All right. I invented cancer. How? I just did it. Doesn't matter. And they they're taking our jobs. Yeah, they're taking our roses. They're taking the lot. And they took your teeth as well. Yeah, they did. You know when the War of eighteen twelve was? Yeah, that's like that's like the nineteen eighties. Ladies, name three countries. We'll start here and then we'll work our way back. Um, Africa, Asia. Okay. Um, Asia. One more. One more. You one got more. it, lady. <laughs> Stop. South America. Yeah. High school has got to be the most outrageous preposterous, disgraceful, damn right shameful places on the planet. It's where creativity goes to die and where some of the most important years of your life get wasted. I made a video about why college is a scam and now it's time I shit on high school. <laughs> Bro thought he was safe. There's a lot of reasons high school sets you up to fail. One of those reasons being why the hell am I waking up so damn early? If we got to wake up just a couple hours later than normal, like instead of waking up at 7 a.m., they had you wake up at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m., that would be so much better. And you'd be more refreshed, and your brain would work faster and better, so you could maybe actually learn something. Not that they'd be teaching you anything important in high school anyway. Like, realistically, when the hell are you going to need to know the Pythagoras theorem? Bro, the amount of times I fell asleep in class because of those early ass mornings was crazy. The world would be a very different place if high school students got two more hours of extra sleep. Maybe then the students would realize how much of a scam school is. That's why they don't want you getting much sleep. Because if you're too tired to properly use your brain, then you're never gonna think about these things. They know if you start getting decent sleep, then you're gonna come to your senses and realize that high school not only doesn't teach you stuff you actually need to know, but wastes almost your entire youth and forces its views onto you and doesn't let you think for yourself. You guys seen what they're saying about Big Daddy Tate? They're spreading misinformation and lies about my man. Free top G. And Tristan. I ain't forget about you. If high school actually tried to teach me useful things, then I probably would have listened up. But because they decided to teach me about the quadratic function of a banana and the aerodynamics of a corgi, they basically forced me not to care. You couldn't catch me being awake in most of these classes. If I wasn't physically asleep, I was mentally asleep, subconsciously drawing the cool S signs. 2D and 3D versions. I was built different, what can I say? There were so many important things high school just didn't teach us. Like, I was not taught what laws there are. Sorry, I had to joke about it at least once. But for real though, they didn't teach us about taxes or how to woo females and have romantic relations with the beautiful women of the world. They didn't even teach you how to find your passion and be independent because they don't want that. They don't want you to be free or independent because they want you programmed and ready to be a slave to the system. They want you picking cotton. Candy, they want you picking cotton candy. AND COTTON! I want you to visualize something for me real quick. Close your eyes for me. And don't just keep your eyes open and look at the screen. Actually, close your eyes for me right now. Okay. Now, imagine a world where you're 10 years old again. You grew up in a loving household, and your father comes into the room. Hey son, wanna play catch? You agree, and walk outside, only to be accompanied by a refreshing, blissful breeze of warm air gliding across your body and face. The grassy outdoors are the perfect place to spend time bonding with your father. You throw the ball to each other for a couple of minutes, smiling and laughing to one another. You love your life. You love your family. Son, after we're done here, we're gonna go back inside, and me and your mother will teach you all about how to become your own businessman. And we'll teach you all about the importance of discipline. Because discipline and take you further than any motivation ever could. We'll sit by the fire and I'll tell you everything you need to know about being your own independent person. So you can think for yourself and grow up to be a respectable, well-mannered man. How does that sound? You tell him you can't wait and you go inside <laughs> to learn about actual important things that will benefit you in the future. Now, imagine being forced to learn about metamorphic rocks! Ah! Yeah, open your eyes, bro. The dream is over! Your childhood was probably wasted with meaningless garbage classes filled with these things you'll never ever use in your entire life. But hey, at least you probably made some friends in school. 
Too bad you won't talk to half of them after you finish school. The world is a truly corrupt and unjust place. When will this nightmare end? Man, high school would be so boring. And when you mix boredom with the fact that you're a horny hormone hump machine, then you get the bathroom break. And 90% of the time it was just a bathroom break. But the other 10% of the time... Man, I'd beat my meat like a maniac in the bathroom! You ever notice how it's always the maths teachers are always the hottest? Yeah, bro, you mix a 15-year-old with a good imagination and a hot maths teacher together, and you get a fun time! Yes! Best 15 seconds of my life, I can't lie. After doing this, I'd always waltz back into class, acting like nothing happened, then I'd be looking at the person I was sitting beside like... Does he know? You might be wondering how this relates to high school being a scam, and I say it's because they bored me so much to the point where they forced me to create my own fun. Hence, the beginning of my porn addiction. All of this is pretty bad, but there's one crucial thing I haven't yet mentioned. STAIRS! Stairs are every high school boy's worst nightmare. And if you don't know why, then, well, you're probably not a guy, or you're just really tall. But when you're short, and you're a man, and you find yourself walking up stairs, and a woman is walking in front of you, you gotta bust out the good old, oh god, ah, ooh, look at these stairs! These stairs are crazy, look at these stairs, oh, it's just so immaculate, can't be described with words, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. And you especially have to do that if the person walking in front of you is younger than you? <laughs> oh yeah, my boy, you better keep your head down like you're the Spider-Man walking meme. And walking down the stairs would be even worse, because these women would be practically running down the stairs when they see you. <laughs> that happened to you guys too, right? A woman would see you and just start running and screaming. They'd run, but eventually you'd catch them, and you'd pin them down, and they'd try to fight back and bring pepper spray. But your eyes got so used to being pepper sprayed to the point where they developed a tolerance to it, so then it was never enough. The pepper spray was never enough. <laughs> ah, 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 ah! Oh, no, no, no. You see, the child porn, it was just a goof. It was just for laughs.